Concepts wrong. It should be called Judgment Week or even Judgment Year. It's totally messed up. Hey, hey! Stop pushing in! Fucking Germans! Well. Look, Jean. We've led completely blameless lives. We've done nothing remotely sinful. Judgment counter number six, please. No. Judgment counter number three, please. That's us. Relax. Hello. Sorry about the wait. It's just, uh, it's just crazy here today. I suppose we should have seen it coming, really. <laughs> Now then, regarding your application to join the kingdom of heaven and sit at the foot of our Lord. Yeah. Yep, yeah, should be pretty straightforward. Yeah. I don't think there'll be any real problems. Ah. Is everything all right? Yes, yeah, nothing. Just give me a second. I'd um, just like to see my colleague around the corner. That'd be great. Hello. Would you come with me, please? What's wrong? Oh, absolutely nothing to worry about. your application there is just one little thing well i can't think what it would be i, I mean um well we we sometimes used to uh, throw snails over the fence into the neighbor's garden but uh, um oh my god dirty cum sluts what i, I once downloaded a porn site at work. How could you? Yeah, it, it was a joke. Martin Wilkes sent it to me. I see. Two little things, then. No, um, the main problem is actually to do with this impaling thousands of innocent peasants on sharpened poles. Sorry? Well, according to your file, you impaled thousands of innocent peasants on sharpened poles, condemning them to a slow and lingering death. Now, my guess is that this is probably going to count against you. Um, I, I think you've got a bit mixed up. Have we? Oh. I, yet I never impaled anyone on poles. Are you sure? Y yes, uh, of course I'm sure. Well, what about when you worked at um, Lambert Engineering? No. Well, you downloaded porn sites. Yeah, 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 yeah it was a joke. Oh, Lord, this is ridiculous. I have led an impeccable life. I see. Well, look, I'm sure this is all just a small administrational error, so you'll sort it all out then. What I suggest is that you go through to Mr. Burrell. 
Out of the door. Turn left, second door on the right, okay? Mr. Barrel? Yes, yes, come in, come in. Mm. Yes, sit down. Let me just give you some space. <laughs> So, uh, that's for me, is oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, mm. Have a little look, shall we? Mm -hmm. Mr. I M P E L E -O E R. Mr. Impaler. I, I actually, it, oh. it's not Mr. Impaler, in fact. In fact, it's Mr. Whittam. Howard Whittam. With a silent H. So you're not Impaler, Vlad, middle name D, then? No, no I'm, I'm a precision engineer. Vlad the Impaler was a vicious tyrant who impaled thousands of peasants on sharpened sticks. Well, that's a coincidence. It's exactly what you did. No, 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 I didn't, you see. Obviously, there's been a mix-up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. It does happen occasionally. It's... Pretty busy, busy here today, as you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so you can change it, then? Mm, no, I can't. But the best thing to do, quite honestly, is if you trot on down to admin, and they'll be able to sort it all out. Uh, but that lady... Straight said... down the corridor and take the lift. Not you. Of course it's not. Told, and I, actually, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit cross now. This really should have been sorted uh, out. Jean, Jean, I'm handling this. Oh, look, please try to stay calm, Mr. Impaler. Uh, for the last time, I am not glad the Impaler. I am Howard Whittam. With a silent H. I am Howard Whittam. With a silent H, and I have had a very Ordinary, very well behaved, in, in fact, very dull life. Oh, yes. yes, dull. Have you any idea what it was like not doing anything bad, but which read anything enjoyable year after year? But do, do you realize on New Year's Eve 1993, Martin Wilkes' wife offered me a blowjob? <sighs> yeah, well, but I declined. Oh, yes. Some stupid mistaken sense of propriety made me hold back. And it wasn't just that New Year's Eve, either. It's been my whole life. 
I never took drugs. I never overtook on the inside lane. I never ran naked through a graveyard because I, perhaps foolishly, believed in a sense of divine justice, of being rewarded for a life well lived. In other words, because I knew this day would come, I didn't on New Year's Eve. So, please, sort this out. You, you can't send me to hell. You just can't. Oh, I'm sorry. There's obviously been a terrible misunderstanding. Yes! You see, you already are in hell. Both of you. That's not fair. Well, that's the thing about hell, Mrs. Impaler. It's not fair. Now, what I suggest you do is take this file through to Mr. Burrell. Mr. Burrell. Yes, sort it out with Mr. Burrell. Welcome to heaven, Mr. Whittam. We've decided under the circumstances to overlook the filthy cum sluts incident. <laughs>